YouTube fam, it's your girl Leah back again with another video. In today's video, as you can see from the title, it is another crochet hair review video in today's crochet hair. As you also saw from the title, something I'm just gonna refer to as Amazon box braids. I can't figure out what else to call it because it's not a specific brand that I bought it from. I just bought this hair from Amazon because I recently talked about Jay Mari, who's an incredible YouTuber on this platform. She had done some box braids a, a few years ago and it looked incredible. I always wanted to do said box braids. I always wanted to style like that. I just never did it. But today I'm doing it and I'm reviewing it for you guys. Now, as you saw from the title, this is not a install video a DIY tutorial video a how to nor did it convey that in the title no 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 this is a review video where I come on here first with my first day thoughts of a crochet hair having only installed it minutes ago telling you overall was it an easy install a hard install how many packs I use overall whether I thought the install process was good bad or I was indifferent to it then I come one week later having worn the hair for a week telling you overall has it gone uphill or downhill in the matter of the week and overall what my nighttime routine has been with that hair then I come on here however many weeks I'm able to wear that hair on its final day telling you my final thoughts of the hair right before I'm about to take that hair out telling you overall has it gone really uphill or downhill in the matter of those weeks whether it's high maintenance low maintenance whether it's water friendly active wear friendly and all of that now there are time stamps below for those who are impatient and want to skip around to certain parts of the video but if you want to watch the continuous flow of this review keep watching to see my first day thoughts on what we're calling these amazon box braids a few moments later so now coming on here for my day one thoughts on this Amazon box braid hair. Now, like I said in the intro, this is not a DIY tutorial or install video, but I do have one. I'll link it up above so you can see the process instead of me talking about it. But if you want to hear me still ramble on about it, I certainly will do so. Again, I bought this hair from Amazon. I will link it down below uh, so you can see kind of the color and the dimensions of it. I can't tell you right now because the pack this is what it looks like. It's just, you know, normal Amazon packaging. So right off the top of my mind, I can't remember because it's a clear package, but future editing me will go back and look at that order confirmation and see. I only ordered one package of it. In the install video, you'll see that I had a little hesitations because today was my first day opening it. When I get stuff, and again, I ordered this hair a while ago when I ordered the Ocean Wave hair that I reviewed, when I ordered a lot of other hair from Amazon a few weeks ago, I didn't open the package, so it was just kind of sitting there. I opened it today, and I was like, oh, it's not going to be enough, um, but it was enough. Now, they say eight packs comes in it. What they really mean is like eight strands of, I believe it was 16 hair on each strand, so eight times 16, whatever that is, that's how many individual strands of this that you will get. So I only have this much left over, which is I'd say approximately about 10 strands of hair. And I did, a, I think a really good job of filling it in. I knew I wanted to continuously have a left side part. I know sometimes when you do crochet box braids, there's an element of people feeling like, well, it's gonna be very noticeable. Um, I don't think it's super noticeable but even if it is i don't fully care because i would way rather spend the what an hour and 20 that i did the install and then my mother who actually did the braid down she did uh what less than an hour i'd rather do that than rather than sit in a chair for several hours with um all of that going on i i really do this here where i can take my brickety breaks you know chill around take my time listen to my podcast and all of that but let me do a turnaround so you guys can see how it does look from the back, from the sides. Again, not having the package information in front of me, and I don't even know if it said on the site, I'd roughly guesstimate this as, what, 14 inches long. So not super long box braids, which I did not want at all. I know sometimes box braids, especially in this heat, can have a tendency of being warmer on your neck or on this side of your body, which 
it's only the first day. I have not experienced that yet, but I could see that being a thing that happens. Now this hair is not super heavy at all, but I would be super interested in seeing how it holds up as I go through swim lessons. If you follow my channel outside of just my crochet hair reviews, you know I'm in swim lessons this summer, all summer, super excited about that. And so I want to try crochet hair, of course, that I think may work, but maybe it'll prove wrong. Again, these aren't just normal box braids where they go down and it's, you know, all the way down they do have an element of loose hair at the bottom as you can see and it's colored loose hair which already loose hair when it's colored already has a tendency to mm, not be the best so um it's not just the traditional and that's what i wanted i wanted not just the traditional look i also wanted the not so traditional color as well which i think i have in this it's perfect for the summer so perfect for the summer in terms of price i believe this packet only cost about 35 dollars at the time that i got it so 35 dollars as opposed to again sitting in a chair for a long time and paying I don't know, $1.99. How much do people charge for, for sitting in your chair for forever to get braided styles done? I haven't done that in about a decade, over a decade, and I didn't even pay for that. My mama paid for that back when I was in college, so I've never paid a braider to do my hair, so I don't have a concept of what that would cost, but I feel like it would cost more than $35, and I think it would take a lot longer than this took. No products have hit this hair, nor have I cut anything, so this was a easy install from that perspective too. It was kind of a install, and I'm ready to go. I, I can go out to brunch right now. It's not even 1 p.m. yet. I still have a whole day left of activities that I can and shall do today, so overall, this is my first day thoughts i'm really liking the look it's different for me but to see how i feel about this hair in one week because it might be different just keep watching one week later so now coming on here for my one week thoughts on these amazon box braids that's what i'm gonna call it the amazon box braid hair i'm gonna lean in so you guys can see it a bit turn around to the side i mean it should look exactly the same as it did one week ago because I have literally done nothing. I haven't put a product to it, haven't put a pair of scissors to it. I have not done anything but go to sleep, wake up, go to sleep, wake up. Detangling, how? How would I detangle this hair? I mean, I guess you would think that the uh, end pieces could become a level of frizzy or tangly, but they have not. All I'm doing at night is putting a hair tie around my hair and then putting a bonnet on. And going to sleep that's all i'm doing that's all and then waking up in the morning and uh, untying that hair tie and taking the bonnet off and going about my day very low maintenance as to be expected very water friendly as to be expected well typically i say my final thoughts for the water friendliness so maybe some things could happen i have a few more lessons to go through i have plans on going to the pool this week too before school is out we're in that in between stage where charlotte mecklenburg doesn't get out till june the 8th so i want to get the pool in before these little kids get out here and do their whole pool shenanigans so again want to enjoy that so there's going to be more hair wedding time so you guys will see ultimately how this hair turns out on its final thoughts coming up right now later so now coming on here for my final thoughts on these Amazon Goddess Box Braids. As you can see from the sign, it has been three weeks with this hair and I love it. I can't even bury the lead. I love this hair. I haven't done anything to this hair. I mean, literally outside of the washings post swimming, which we're gonna get into in this video, I've done nothing. I haven't detangled this hair, so I haven't used a detangling product. Uh, this is it without me taking my fingers to detangle it in any way. Um, is it active friendly? Is it water friendly? Absolutely, absolutely it is. I've only been talking for like 40 seconds right now, so I knew that this portion was going to be a lot shorter, my final thoughts, but I decided, you guys asked me a lot of questions in my install video, so my install video is already up, as well as I posted two reels, if you follow me on Instagram, at leelavon89, which you guys asked some questions under. So I want to address those questions. If you have any questions about why I'm wearing it for three weeks, I do and I have swam a lot in this hair, a quite a bit, and it's gone through a lot of washings, a lot of chlorine, a lot of all of that. I knew I was going to do that, but I also knew with the repetitive nature of me swimming, a lot of times I was going to want to get something new. I want to utilize the time I have with this pool this summer and try a bunch of different hair. And this hair already I saw was performing 
amazingly well. Why continue? I could go swimming seven, eight, nine more times and I know how it's going to handle itself. So without further ado, let's get into the first comment. I believe this is an IG comment that I received and it is from Lady E. Hudson. And it says, how do they hold up in the pool? Great, excellent question. Now I am in lessons, so I go every Saturday, but our pool opened in the end of May. So right when I was putting this hair in and I try to go to the pool two times a week, I try to go at a time when I know a lot of kids won't be in there. And so I do a variation of, if I'm going to swim lessons, I always put on my swim cap if I'm going to lessons. If I'm swimming in the pool, and I just really want to learn and I want to get in there and really be one with the water. I've been wearing my swim turban a lot of the times. There's a separate video that should already be up about the swim turban that I bought. I really like that. But for the purpose of this video, which is a review video, I also swim with my hair out and about in the water. And as you can see, as I'm inserting these clips, it was holding up, it was holding steady, nothing was going on. I assumed that this hair was going to be phenomenal for beaches. People go to the beach, to the pools, with regular box braids, box braids and knotless braids that they sat in a chair for six to eight hours and got. I happened to have it in a different form, so I assumed that it would hold up the same way. That's why box braids are the quintessential, I'm going on vacation, I need a hair look, and I understand it, but I wanted it in crochet form and it performed beautifully in the water. So I got it wet in both the pool, but I, then I came back and rinsed it out in my shower. But you, if you were up on me, I mean, you wouldn't be able to tell that I've gotten this hair wet several upon several, upon several occasions, and I could get it wet several upon several more occasions. I did get a question, I can't remember whether it was on Instagram or on YouTube about the heaviness. Does it get heavy after you swim? And I swim without a cap on to test this hair out three times and I was gonna leave it at two times um, just because again I felt like I'd seen enough but I hadn't paid attention to the heaviness so I decided to do it a third time to pay attention to it and I will say it does immediately following feel heavier that's why in these examples I went without it being tied up I think in a normal situation when I'm really trying to be slip with me I would put it up like I wouldn't have it all out like how I have it all out it does feel heavy and it does limit movement if I have it down like this and I'm trying to rotate my arms to kind of catch and, and swim in that way so yes in theory it is going to get a little bit heavy but I think the reason I didn't notice it the first two times is I'm going to show you guys what the weather has been like in North Carolina so these are the temperatures I don't know if it's going to show up on camera I hope you guys are able to see if not, why don't I just screenshot what I'm seeing right now so you can see that it says on Monday it's 96 degrees as the high. On Tuesday, 98, 97, 92, 90, 93, 95. So I think I didn't realize it in the heaviness because the times that I tested it, what I would do is test it, you know, as normal, get out of the pool and sit for like a minute and dry my body off. My hair was already dry within three minutes. Crochet hair dries so fast and it's gonna dry super fast with these types of temps. If it's 98 degrees, you can crack an egg, it's gonna fry on the sidewalk. Of course your hair is gonna dry. So I think I did didn't even have time to pay attention to the weight of it because it's gonna dry so fast so if you have any concerns about well if I get in the pool or if I get in some body of water and then I get out and then I'm walking around it's gonna be I'm gonna be wearing a mop on my head it's gonna feel so heavy y'all I'm trying to tell y'all it's gonna be like two minutes and you're it's gonna be back to normal now again you might want to go back to a room and and wash it all out and get the chlorine out if that's important to you but again with temps like this and I'm talking like 90s and we're in June right now, the heaviness is going to be only mild. Now the next comment, I wanna say there were so many comments from people saying they love, love, love this hair, that this is one of their favorite types of hair. They're so glad I'm finally reviewing it because they love this hair. And then on the flip side, I got this two comments from um, Lion Ness. She posted on my photo and then she posted on the video itself. And she said, they tangle bad, worst hair ever. The next one was Leah, this is literally 
the worst hair that I've ever purchased. The curly hair tangles bad and there is no remedy. Good luck. And I wanted to bring up that comment to highlight how nuanced crochet hair is and the fact that I may love a hair you hate, I may hate a hair you love, and it's just opinions. I wanted to state everything I'm saying in this video, I don't care if you buy it or not buy it, it don't make me know, never mind. But I just want to make sure that I'm helping you guys make the best purchasing decision. So there's a lot, of, a ton, there's tons of comments like this where it's like, I love it, I love it. And then there's comments like this where it's like the worst hair ever and I would never. And neither of these two parties is wrong. Neither of these people is wrong. It's their opinion. It is nuanced and it's who you are as a person and what you enjoy as a hair. And I'm enjoying this hair. Tangles Bad was one of the feedback. I just, I don't know. I, I didn't have the tangles. I, I didn't have the tangles at all. I didn't detangle this for this camera. I, I don't even know what you would use to detangle. So if you have any detangling recommendations, leave them down below for somebody else who's exhibiting or having those tangling issues. But I can't share with you a remedy to detangle something when I didn't have that same experience. I'm lazy, y'all. I'm lazy. I don't like doing things. So if this hair was high maintenance and it was tangling, I would tell y'all, because why would I want y'all to be in this situation? For $30? I mean, don't do it. But it's it's nothing happening. I mean, I'm pulling one strand, one strand's coming up. It's not one of those where it's I pull one strand and the whole head comes. I've had those situations where I pull one strand, the whole head lifts up because it's that it's that tangly. But even if you saw my pool scenes, which I, I was swimming, I wasn't doing anything special, I would jump in the water and the hair would separate and flow. If the hair was tangly, it wouldn't have had that ability to flow out and the strands just move the way they moved. It's not tangly to me, but I, I understand that that could be somebody's experience and I don't negate that experience, but I just highlighted that particular comment to say, take everything I'm saying as my opinion and look around, look at reviews, look at the comments on Amazon, see what other people are saying, like do your research. Um, but this is, Again, my, my thoughts and opinion. Miss Iggy says, Leah, beautiful as always. Quick question, how secure is the curly hair that branch out from the braid? Does it slip out easily? No, it doesn't. And the hair at the bottom, I don't know if you, if I could highlight in the video if how secure or how it doesn't come unraveled. It's a little knot at this part. So there's a knot that hits right there that is not allowing this to like uh, come untangled. This part, it doesn't, um, I guess, like become untangled either too. I don't know how, I don't know. There's no knot like right up here. So I don't know how this doesn't unravel more or doesn't become bigger of an issue. But these two pieces are just, they've just been hanging. So they've been pretty secure in the time that I've worn them. And even, I was almost about to forget, my mom has this hair in right at this current moment. My mom has this in, I didn't even really pay attention to it fully until my sister's graduation. My mom and I were like, oh, I, you have in the same hair I have in right now. Um, so I'll see if I, we didn't take any pictures side by side. I don't know why. Um, it was more about my sister, granted, than anything. But there's some photos. I think I got a picture of the back of her head. She has it in a solid black color, but it's the same exact curl. She said, thank God I didn't apply it in the same color because she bought it. She buys this hair often. She really likes this hair. She has it in a solid black right now, but she also has my same exact color bought from the same exact vendor. And she was like, how you gonna jock my style? And I was like, I had been playing this, ma. I had been playing this. Um, and my mom's like, she doesn't do social media. She doesn't watch reviews. She just goes and buys and when she likes, she likes. And she's even more lower maintenance than I am. Like y'all be like, Leah, put some maintenance into stuff. I get it from my mama cause my mom's even lower maintenance. You know, being a mom, being a wife, being a, a worker, just all of that. She ain't got 0.0% .0 time to put into her hair. She's done with that. That's a 20, 30, 40 year old game for her. She ain't about that life no more. So she looks for low maintenance and this is a hair that she's bought, she's repeatedly bought, and she's repeatedly worn. To know my mom, to know Mama LaVon, and for her to wear this hair, she ain't got no channel, she gets nothing out of, you know, liking a hair, and she's a quick one for like, that hair is trash, I'm never repurchasing it, blah, 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 blah. Um, and for her to like it, it speaks volumes for, for her to actually like a hair. I also got this comment from Christchild17. This looks so beautiful on you, the color and all, but please twist it at night. I know how you don't like to do that, y'all know me y'all know y'all know I don't like no maintenance but sis I've had those braids and it can get messy 
all I did was put in a ponytail at night. I didn't even do all that twisting. I appreciate y'all looking out for me, but I ain't even have all that, girl. I ain't even had none of them problems. I, I mean, I guess I'm, I'm assuming you mean twisted like, like this, but I, I'm telling you, you don't even gotta do all that. You do not have to twist this hair and you are gonna be good to go. So again, those are just some comments that I wanted to address and make sure that I had answered for you guys in this review video. I wanted to be very thorough. Again, I, I felt a lot of you guys love it, but y'all just like, it's gonna be a tangly mess. And I'm still like, I love it and it's not a tangly mess. Maybe at week six or seven or eight or nine, it might would be, but I would ask, are, are those people swimming too? Or is it just a living a normal sedentary life? Life and they're experiencing these tangles. So, but I'm telling you, I've washed it multiple times. I've done a lot. I don't know whether the washing is helping it not tangle as much. I don't know what the, the situation is. I also got a question. Somebody said that the site says actually wash it before you install it. And they asked, did I do that? Um, I would address in my install video if I did anything pre to the hair. Like if I did anything outside of before I took it out of the pack. I don't wash any of my hair, so I didn't follow the instructions. But if you want to wash the hair first, that's fine. Um, if they instruct you to do that, that's fine as well. And if you have a sensitive scalp where your scalp itches a lot or you have like inflammatory issues, definitely uh, apple cider vinegar wash the hair. But I never wash any of my hair, so I... Um, I don't have those issues. Somebody else asks, how has it been around the edges? Because that's my biggest fear. Um, not edges, uh, they, they look like they're doing regular, but I guess we'll see more um, when I take this hair out and I install my next hair, which you need to be subscribed to my channel to see what I do next. What hair am I going to do next? Is that next hair gonna be as water friendly? How many weeks am I gonna wear the next hair? Get all those questions answered and more if you're subscribed, you're locked in, and you have that notification bell on so you don't miss when I upload again. Make sure that you're following me on Instagram at leeluhan89 so you can keep up with my shenanigans in real time and I'll see you in my next video. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.